Hey guys, how's it going? Markel here back with another video. We're in 2022. Hopefully you guys are having a great day today. With that being said, I wanna answer two questions that were left behind and any other comments you guys have or questions, please leave them below. Okay, so in the first one, I had someone leave a, a question regarding qualifying for SSDI. Now I can't tell you if you qualified or not, but what I can tell you is how you can find out, which is to either call Social Security apply online for the benefit or go in person to a social security office and see if you still have quarters left, if you still have insurance left. That's the easiest way to find out, right? But me personally, I can't tell you. I don't know your work history. I don't know anything about you other than what you wrote in the comment section. So there's no possible way I can answer that question, but social security would answer that question very easily for you, okay? Second question that I got was regarding the most common way people lose their SSI or their SSDI benefits. So the most common way that I'm aware of is through continuing disability reviews, CDRs, all right? CDRs are just what they say, reviews to see if your disability continue from where you were granted the award before. And they're no, they don't care about that old evidence they're only looking at from the time that you got awarded to where you are today when they send you that review, okay? So what happens and why people usually lose their benefits in a situation like this, not saying every time, but the majority of the time is because some people, when they get that benefit, they think they're done, right? That they don't have to go to a doctor, that they don't have to do any medication, they don't have to see their psychiatrist, they don't have to do any of that, right? Wrong. Just what it says, continuing disability review. They want to see your most current, up-to-date medical records, as well as medication you're taking to see if you're still disabled. And then they'll make a determination of whether or not to continue the benefit or to discontinue the benefit, all right? And then at that point, you have a couple of options. You can fight it, basically appeal it, and continue to receive the payment. But just know, if you lose, you're responsible for paying all that money back or you can still appeal it, decline to accept any of the money, and it'll be just like it was for some of you guys who applied the first time when you had to wait six months, a year, whatever, to get your money, you would get another lump sum that way, okay? That's how that works. And it's not like the first time either with your lawyer, where your lawyer was guaranteed to get an amount. In this situation on an appeal, your lawyer is gonna want a retainer. You're gonna have to pay him or her anywhere between 1500, 2000, 3000, 5000 depending on the lawyer you get in order to use that service again. Okay? Hopefully you guys are aware of that. But the biggest takeaway for this with a CDR is this. You should try to keep up your same level of care that it took for you to get the benefit to maintain it the entire time. All right? Because if all of a sudden you just stop going to the doctor you stop taking medications, you stop going to your psychiatrist, and these were the main things that were the reason you got awarded Social Security? Well, let's use common sense at that point. If you're not doing any of the things you told us five years ago, four years ago, when we award you this benefit, and you haven't been doing anything, what's the chance that they're gonna continue to pay you for disability when you haven't done any of those things that you did before to get the benefit? Because I'm sure a lot of you guys remember you know, going through the social security process, all the forms you had to fill out. Uh, you had to get second opinions. You had to get independent evaluations. Their doctors made their opinions. They have a person there who does nothing but uh, look at jobs that you could possibly do. You had to fight those opinions. You went through all that to get the benefit, right? And then all of a sudden you just stopped. You have no medical record. You know, it's, it's only common sense how that normally works out, unless it's a situation like if someone's blind, missing limbs, already in a wheelchair, paraplegic, things like that, or you mentally, you know, have issues, things like that, okay. But if, you know, you were in a car accident and all of a sudden, five years later, you're not going to physical therapy, you're not doing any other thing, you're not doing nothing. So when they do the review, you got nothing to show as far as you keeping up the main and maintaining that level of care, 
you know, what happens happens. So that's the number one reason why a lot of people lose their social security benefits. All right, guys. So I appreciate everybody watching as always. Again, any other questions you all have, please leave them in the comment section below. Other than that, guys, I will see you all Friday with another new video. Until then, I'm out.